Ever wondered about the hidden gems behind the 1961 TV series that captured hearts across the nation? Well, buckle up, because we've got a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and sad facts headed your way. The show, a timeless classic, unfolded the tales of a feisty maid and her escapades, bringing laughter and tears to living rooms nationwide. But did you know there's a treasure trove of lesser-known anecdotes waiting to be uncovered? Dive into the behind-the-scenes world that adds a whole new layer to your favorite sitcom. Now, you might be pondering, are there any personal stories out there about how this TV series has impacted lives? Perhaps it sparked a laugh during tough times or taught valuable life lessons. Share your own experiences in the comments below and let's weave together memories. As you watch, keep an eye out for those moments that touch you, the ones that leave you chuckling, gasping, or maybe even shedding a tear. What's your most beloved memory related to this classic series? We're all ears and eager to hear your tales. So stay tuned, share your stories, and let's celebrate the timeless magic of the show. Your anecdotes are the missing pieces to this puzzle of nostalgia. Go ahead, spill the beans in the comments below. The stage is yours. And remember, there's more to discover about the show, so hit that subscribe button for a journey into the past that's bound to leave you smiling. Keep those personal stories coming, and let's make this a community filled with laughter and shared memories. Curious minds, are you ready for the ride? Don't miss out, exciting revelations await. Keep watching, keep sharing, and let the nostalgia unfold. The 1961 TV series Hazel had a big effect and left a lasting impression on television. The show was about a maid named Hazel who worked for the Baxter family. Hazel was clever and efficient, breaking stereotypes of maids on TV. She was smart and capable, challenging traditional views of women on screen. One reason Hazel is still important is its strong female characters. Hazel showed that women could do more than just housework. The show highlighted her independence and ability to solve problems, inspiring many viewers. Also, Hazel mixed comedy with important topics. It talked about things like differences in social class and expectations for men and women. This sparked important discussions at the time. The show's humor and well-developed characters still connect with audiences today. The influence of Hazel goes beyond when it aired. It affected later TV shows and popular culture. Its impact on how women are shown on TV and its ability to talk about serious topics in a funny way have left a lasting impression on entertainment. In summary, Hazel is still relevant because of its strong female characters, its ability to talk about important topics with humor, and its lasting effect on TV history. Hazel aired in 1961, featuring a theme song with vocals in the initial eight episodes. Later, it transitioned to an instrumental version for the remainder of the series. One notable cast member, Bobby Buntrock, gained recognition as the sole child actor on the show. Following his time on Hazel, Buntrock made brief appearances on The Virginian in 1967. Tragically, at the age of 21, he passed away in a car accident in South Dakota. Within the storyline, Hazel held the position of president within the sorority of maids, known as the Sunshine Girls. The series left a lasting impact on viewers, remembered for its catchy theme tune and memorable characters. Hazel was a notable TV series from the early 1960s. Shirley Booth, who won the Best Actress Oscar for Comeback, Little Sheba in 1952, also bagged the Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series Emmy for her role in Hazel. Alongside her, Whitney Blake co-starred as George Baxter's wife in the show. The series gained significant attention, even gracing the cover of the October 6, 1962 issue of TV Guide, featuring Shirley Booth alongside her co-star. George Baxter, portrayed by Don DeFore, served as the boss of the housekeeper, played by Shirley Booth, for four years on NBC TV. However, when the show moved to CBS, DeFore and Blake were replaced by Ray Fulmer and Lynn Borden, who played Baxter's younger brother and his wife, respectively. The storyline cleverly explained George Baxter's absence, citing a transfer to Saudi Arabia for business purposes. Meanwhile, Bobby Buntrock continued his role as Baxter's son, living with his aunt and uncle. Despite these changes, the series endured for only one more season before its cancellation. Hazel, although short-lived after the network switch, left a mark on television history, especially with Shirley Booth's dual accolades and the memorable ensemble cast. Whitney Blake, known for her role as Dorothy Baxter on the show, was married to a man named Baxter in real life and had three children, including Meredith Baxter, who later starred in Family Ties. 
In the opening credits, Hazel is seen passing groceries to the family with a church visible beyond the trees. Unfortunately, a fire in 1970 damaged the original church at Columbia Ranch, leading to its leveling. Columbia Studios rebuilt a church off in the distance, not on the original spot. Shirley Booth, who portrayed Hazel, later voiced Mrs. Santa Claus in the 1974 film The Year Without a Santa Claus. The tree behind Mr. Baxter's red convertible is notable in the landscape, although it's no longer visible on Google Maps, unlike the improved lawn the Baxters left behind. Sure, here's a revised version in 1961, a TV series called Hazel Debuted, bringing to life the charming and witty world of a maid named Hazel based on Ted Key's cartoons from the Saturday Evening Post magazine. In the French version, both the series and its leading lady were known as Adele, giving it an international touch. As the show progressed, it went through some changes, especially in its opening credits. The theme song, a catchy tune, became synonymous with the show, growing louder with each appearance of Whitney Blake, seamlessly blending her into the show's identity. With its unique style and lovable characters, the TV series left a lasting impression on viewers worldwide. Its mix of humor, heart, and timeless appeal continues to attract audiences, proving that the story of a humble maid and her adventures resonates with people everywhere. Hazel, a TV series from the early 1960s, had a unique connection with the Ford Motor Company. For the first four seasons, Ford sponsored the show, ensuring that the Baxter's family cars were always Fords. In 1964, the show prominently featured the newly introduced Ford Mustang, showcasing the brand's latest offerings. Remarkably, Hazel was the pioneer of color sitcoms. Although the initial season was in black and white, subsequent seasons, starting in 1962, were produced in color, setting a precedent in television history. Interestingly, the exterior of the Baxter's home in Hazel is the same as that used by the Murtaugh's in the Lethal Weapon films, adding a curious connection between two distinct narratives. Hazel was a TV show in the early 1960s about the Baxter family. The name Baxter was important because it was the last name of Whitney Blake's first husband, who was also the real-life father of her daughter, Meredith Baxter. The story revolves around George Baxter, who works at the law firm Butterworth, Noel, Hatch, and Baxter. The firm is important in shaping the story and George's character. The show is set in the Baxter family home, located on Blondie Street at Warner Ranch in Burbank. This house was used in many other TV shows and movies like Gidget, Bye Bye Birdie, and even the Lethal Weapon series. It was a popular location for filming, appearing in shows like Bewitched, Father Knows Best, The Partridge Family, I Dream of Jeannie, and The Donna Reed Show. Interestingly, the same street was used in the 1998 movie Pleasantville to create a perfect TV neighborhood. This ordinary neighborhood set became famous for being used in many productions, showing how TV settings can be reused and adapted. In short, Hazel focuses on the Baxter family and connects real-life stories with fictional ones, all set in a familiar filming location.